Teleco Village resident Dennis Sabo is an internationally award-winning photographer specializing in contemporary fine art abstract, landscape, and seascape photography. The 2019 Healing Power of Art recipient from Manhattan Art International, Dennis offers unique landscapes and natural world abstracts that capture the beauty and spirit of nature. To appreciate Dennis's current photographic artwork, a little background information is in order. Dennis turned his interest toward the ocean, marine sciences, and scuba diving while attending Florida Tech. He started his own scuba marketing company and honed his photographic skills while working as an underwater assignment photographer shooting for a variety of scuba-related magazines. His photography career progressed from there, shooting various assignments for entities like NASA. A trip to Africa in 2004 rekindled Dennis's passion for photographing landscapes. His introduction into abstract nature photography happened unintentionally. His Botswana stay was during the springtime floodwaters of the Akavango Delta. Incredible water clarity and plant life in a dazzling array of colors allowed Dennis to experiment with various in-camera techniques to capture spectacular African abstracts. While many photographers are content with photography as an art, Dennis is making art out of photography and continues to improve his craft. Dennis is considered to be a master at transforming an image into something the viewer can connect with emotionally. His stunning photography of the natural world captures light and its effect on the landscape. When people see this artwork in my home for the first time, they go, wow. And that's what I said to Dennis when I first saw his photographic art, because it reminded me of the Monet's originals that I've seen in museums all over the world. And Dennis has captured that with his photographic art and his light and color. It is so real and such quality. Dennis's landscape scenic style for me takes the outdoors and it enhances it so that it fits in any, any decor, in any home, in any decorating. And I can put it in my current traditional and I can redecorate and it'll fit in a modern setting. So that's what I love about it. We're so lucky he lives here in the village because I got to go right to his home and he would help me pick out the right thing, the right size, the right color tones, and maybe even the right type of art for my house. What it does for me is it gives me an energy and a peacefulness in, on a daily basis because it brings nature from outdoors in and it just makes my home feel good. While color, light, and form play pivotal roles in Dennis's photography, so does the medium he has chosen most often to display his work, metal prints. Dennis intentionally selects natural world scenes and abstract subjects so that images are enhanced when viewed through this metal medium. The first time I have ever seen Dennis's artwork was at a party at his home and my husband and I were just so attracted to the beautiful artwork on his walls. The colors were so vivid and the way he used the light, we had never seen anything like that. When we have friends over, the first thing they see when they come in the house is Monet's dream. Right away, they say, wow, that is beautiful. And then they wanna know, what is it? And then they wanna know, where did you get it? And then as they come into the house and turn the corner, next they see the gathering which is just so beautiful with the blues and all the different colors and the way the lighting is used in the, in the photograph is just stunning. So not only do we have one piece, but we have two pieces of Sabo art. I first saw Dennis's artwork at the Art Market Gallery in Knoxville. When I moved to the village, I was delighted to find he was practically a neighbor of mine because I'd never seen photography like that. And we would take field trips together especially the Sitico Creek area, we'd stand side by side and we'd come home. I would come home with a very nice photograph. Dennis would come home with a piece of art. It was very impressive. I was delighted to work with him.
When our collectors and buyers see my work, they don't see a photograph. They see an interpretive collage of colors, patterns, and textures. My photographic goal has always been to evoke that emotional experience for the viewer. Perhaps it is how the subject is bathed in light. Perhaps it's just an image that you enjoy viewing. It is my hope that the artwork that a collector enjoys today is enjoyed as much 10 years from now. If that occurs, I've done my job.